Hi boys and girls and welcome back to Mr. Grable's grade 3 ELA class where we love to read articles and stories and poems and all sorts of writing from collections. This one is called Cinderella Around the World by Sharon Stewart, photographed by Peter Chu. And this is an article, it's real live stuff, very interesting stuff. I think about slippers and other interesting articles here. Slippers, because I'm making the Cinderella connection there. Here we go. A glass slipper, a fairy godmother, and a coach that turns into a pumpkin. Do these things remind you of anything? Of course they do. The fairy tale Cinderella. What? is a Cinderella story. The Cinderella story many people know was written long ago by a French writer named Charles Perrault. He called his story Little Cinder or The Little Glass Slipper. Here is how the Cinderella story goes. A good, kind girl is treated badly by her cruel stepmother and stepsisters. Because she huddles in the ashes or cinders of the fireplace to keep warm, they call her Cinderella. One day, a great ball is held at the palace. Cinderella's fairy godmother appears and gives her a beautiful gown and a pair of dainty glass slippers. Then the godmother turns a pumpkin into a coach and six white mice into white horses to pull it. She warns Cinderella that the enchantment will only last until midnight or 12 o'clock at night. Cinderella goes to the ball for three nights and dances with the prince. On the third night, she forgets the time. The clock strikes 12 and she rushes from the palace. In her hurry, she loses one of her glass slippers. The prince searches for the girl whose, fit, whose foot fits the slipper. At last, he finds Cinderella. The slipper fits and she pulls the matching one out of her pocket. Cinderella and the prince live happily ever after. A World of Cinderella's Stories very much like this Cinderella tale are told all around the world. Some parts of the stories may be different, but some things are the same in many of them. For example, the good, kind hero always has to work very hard, and she is covered with ashes or dirt. She always receives magical help, though not always from a fairy godmother. Often there is an object like a slipper that helps a prince or king find her, and her goodness is rewarded in the end. Here are some other Cinderella stories from around the world. Oh. This is going to be interesting. Here we go, the first one. China. The world's oldest Cinderella story comes from China. Ye Shen, the Chinese Cinderella, is also mistreated by a cruel stepmother. Her magic helper is a fish, and she goes to a festival in a cloak woven of blue and gold feathers wearing slippers of gold. On the way home, Ye Shen drops one of her golden slippers. Someone finds it and sells it to the king. Then he searches his kingdom for its owner. At last he finds Ye Shen and makes her his wife. Interesting story. Here comes some more. OK, 
Okay. Nigeria. A tale from Nigeria. In a tale from Nigeria, the magic helper is a frog. A kind maiden feeds the frog in a pond near her house. When the chief gives a dance festival, the frog gives her fine clothes and a pair of slippers, one of silver and one of gold. The maiden loses the golden slipper when she runs away from the dance. At last, the chief's son finds her, and the golden slipper hops right onto her foot. Just like a frog. <laughs> so that's Nigeria. Ooh, Ireland. Here's a new one, a different one at the bottom there. Ireland. Have you ever heard of a boy Cinderella? In an Irish tale, Billy Begg, the son of a king, has many adventures. Then he rescues a princess from a terrible sea dragon. As he rides away, the princess catches hold of his very large boot, which he leaves behind him. Of course, she finds the lad who fits the boot, and they live happily ever after. <gasps> Algonquin peoples here in Canada and the United States. The Cinderella of the Al Algonquin peoples of Canada and the United States is called the Rough Face Girl. She lives in a village with her sisters who treat her cruelly. In the same village lives an invisible being. His sister says he will only marry the maiden who can truly see him. The sisters of Rough Face Girl try in vain to describe him. Then Rough Face Girl tries. Everyone laughs at her, yet she succeeds. She sees a noble warrior whose bow is the rainbow and whose sled runners are the Milky Way. They marry and live happily ever after. And finally one from Japan. Benizera, the Japanese Cinderella, wins her prince by cleverness instead of a magic slipper. She too is badly treated by her stepmother and stepsister. One day an old woman gives her a little box. She tells Benizera it will give her what she wants. Soon a play is performed in the village. Benizera pulls a beautiful kimono out of the box and goes happily to the play. A nobleman sees her there and the next day he visits her house. He puts a pile of salt on a plate and sticks a single pine needle in it. Then he challenges Benazera and her stepsister to make up poems about it. The stepsister makes up an ugly poem about a pile of salt. But Benazera's poem describes a snowy mountain with a lonely pine tree. The nobleman is so delighted with her cleverness that he marries her at once. Some people think there are as many as 700 Cinderella tales. Did just one story spread around the world? Or did many stories spring up in many lands? No one knows for sure. One thing is certain though, People everywhere still tell Cinderella tales and even write new ones. Of course, none of them is true. Is it? Just in case though, you might want to look out for fairy godmothers and be very kind to frogs and fish. Above all, watch what you do with your shoes. 
keep them tied. Have a great day. Bye-bye.